Gospel of the Lord. As I'm sure many of you know, when we celebrate Mass, when we offer the liturgy of the church, the church gives the priest various options for what to do. And so today, I'm sure many of you were expecting to hear readings about being thankful to God and not the end of the world. But I kind of figured, what better way to mark the day when we get together with family and friends for a meal than the end of the world? But the reality is, which of those types of readings, the readings that speak only of gratitude or the readings that speak about the challenges of the world, more reflect the times in which we find ourselves right now? I think the latter. I think the ones that speak of the trials and the tribulations that we face in this world. But that's what makes gratitude and thanksgiving all the more important. There's an old saying, if you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs, then you probably haven't checked your answering machine. But the reality is, if you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs, you've probably cultivated a true spirit of gratitude and of receiving the love of the Father in your life. Because the challenges of the world are many and the challenges of the world are real, but it is gratitude that grounds us in the personal involvement of the Father. It's gratitude that reminds us that no matter how difficult life may seem, no matter how challenging it may appear, we are never far from the Father's personal care. The first word might seem like destruction. The first word might seem unimaginable. But in both of these readings, the last word is one of hope. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Your redemption is at hand. One of my favorite lines in all of Scripture comes from the book of Lamentations, this book that's filled with the deep yearning and longing for a God who we feel has abandoned us. The Lord's mercies are not spent. The Lord's mercies are not spent. So even in the midst of these challenging times when Thanksgiving probably doesn't look like what it normally would, we find a moment to be thankful. We find a moment to offer gratitude for all of the gifts and the graces and the blessings in our life. And when we do, we realize it's not just trivial. It's not just these tiny little things that I'm searching for and scraping for, but that everything I find to be thankful for is really gratitude for the same thing, that I live always in the presence and in the love of the Father.